Abby Rossman, who's the president of Research Aid Networks and an honorary senior lecturer in virology at the University of Kent. Jeremy, good to have you with us. Uh, first of all, uh, human challenge trials. Tell us about the controls in place for this and how the safety of, of volunteers is safeguarded as much as possible. So any human challenge trial is inherently dangerous, especially when you have a challenge trial with a disease that we do not yet have a cure for. This is why the safety of the trials is really of critical concern. So first of all, they're only using healthy young adults between 18 and I think 35. So this has been an age range that historically has had the lowest incidence of severe COVID disease. We also have multiple therapeutics that can be used if people do have any severe disease. Now, they're not perfect and they don't prevent critical illness in all cases, but we do have some therapeutics that can be used. This will help to mitigate the risk, but the risks are still present, which is why it has to be approached with caution. Right. But at the end of the day, all being well, these trials will allow researchers to know a lot more about the coronavirus. Exactly. These are incredibly useful trials that give us data and information and depths of information that we would struggle to get otherwise. So with these trials, first of all, we can do a real head-to-head -head comparison of different coronavirus vaccines because most likely each vaccine will not behave comparably and we will have some that are better than others. And having this head-to-head -head comparison will be really useful in moving forward. It will also give us really important information about how the vaccine works and how the immune system responds and interacts with the virus. This would be very difficult information to get otherwise. Jeremy, thank you very much indeed for that. Jeremy Rossman there.